All right, guys, I'm back here with the final work in progress for this right here, the HMM Darkhorn, the Harry Special version, of course. As you can see, I've moved on to the final stages of painting. I have these gray parts started. This right here is the gray parts I'm talking about. This is a part for the gun, specifically. And you can see a whole lot more gray parts. This is the inner parts of the gun. I painted in gunmetal and detailed. I wish it would just focus and you could see what I painted it, but there we go. You can see I detailed that and uh, some other parts like this one right here that attach to the tail. I really wasn't for sure about these when I first started it. Uh, I painted the gray and detailed it up and I thought it looked so bad. Uh, to be honest, the color was just not what I wanted. I wasn't happy with it, but I flat coated it. It dried. I looked at it this morning and I, I, I like it now. I'm not going to lie. I think it has a pretty good kind of look to it. I, uh, I, I'm quite ecstatic about that, though, honestly, because I really was expecting me to hate the color it turned out to be and want to just scrap all those gray parts and do them all again, so very excited about that. Uh, getting those gray parts done, like down here, allowed me to assemble a little bit more of it. This is another part of its torso. As you can see, I added a few more parts, like the missile pods and stuff, onto the side. It is mainly this down here. Let's see, I was able to do a few more things. I was able to build most of this. This is its hind legs parts. And as you can see, I that's only three parts right there. This part and this part are separate, but that main part right there is just a massive piece. Uh, I got all four legs done now. As you can see here, all four legs. And one last thing I was going to show you are these guns, which I finally accomplished. All done, 100% to my knowledge. Might need a... I don't think there's any caps that go on these, so... I believe these are fully completed. Now, this is, these are just two of the three guns it holds on its back. So it's very fully armored. Armed. And uh, I think these look nice. I love the contrast between the gold and the red. And then the additional silver colors, I think, works out really nicely, too. You also have this ammo belt kind of thing leading up to this, which will clip onto the closer to the front of the dark horn but I think it's really nice I love these weapons very very cool Kodo does a very good job with weapons on kits uh, so I think that'll be it for this part of the work in progress I have the rest of these gray parts there were about 10 more that I hadn't completed they're all drying waiting to be flat coated and the gold caps and things I uh, initially those were going to be delayed quite a bit the gold paint I had ordered uh, to finish up the gold caps I had ran out and I ordered some about a week and a half ago and it was delayed in shipment because of the hurricane up in uh, the New England kind of area so that was delayed and I wasn't going to be able to complete it this weekend like I thought but I went to the city yesterday and uh, picked up some gold paint and a bunch of other colors as you can see there also going to try out this tester's dull coat side note there but I picked up that gold paint, so I am going to be able to get those caps completed today, get it finished painting today, and hopefully get it fully assembled today. And I'm very excited about that. On another side note, just some of you might be interested, because this is a Zoids video. While I was up in the city, I picked this up. The Liger Zero Schneider customized parts, the Japanese release. Since they never actually released a Schneider... To my knowledge, maybe they did, but uh, uh, just a Schneider model kit in Japan with the old Tommy models. This was a customized pack, kind of like Kotobuki does now where they just release the armor and you put it on your own Liger Zero. Now this is uh, already completely built, but I picked it up for like $12 and these things go for about 80 to 90 online the last I checked. So picked that up. I already have the Schneider uh, in that motorized form, so I'm probably going to sell it. And uh, they also had a Jaeger, which I was going to buy for the same price, 13 bucks, but it was missing one piece on the neck kind of area, unfortunately. So that was a little disappointing, but oh well. Uh, anyway, after that side, side note kind of thing, uh, I hope you guys like how this is going, and I hope you're looking forward to the completed video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.